Alright guys, today I've got a fun little video. This is on my HTC One M8 Verizon variant. Um, haven't done any videos on this thing in a while, so I'm like, yeah, dude, I gotta get back to some of these. Um, so, today we're gonna install a custom ROM. It's called Onyx. I think that's how you say it. Not really sure, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, very cool. This is going to um, basically not only give you this custom ROM that's very much like uh, stock, but or it's based on stock, I should say, but it's all themed in Android L, which is really cool. So you'll get all that new look of Android L on your HTC One M8. So to say that, um, there's some prerequisites you're going to need to have met, and one of them is an unlocked bootloader. So make sure you have that accomplished. You have your unlocked bootloader, you have your custom recovery installed. If you do not have those two things done, um, I would highly, highly uh, recommend watching my other videos on this device. I have a whole playlist on this thing on XDA Developers, on RootJunkie.com, and on YouTube. So go ahead and get uh, unlocked bootloader, get custom recovery. Root access is always nice as well. Check out some of those videos if you haven't uh, and you're not up to speed on that stuff. If you are, you're just going to download right here these three files. They'll be on the XD link for this ROM and it'll be in the video description down below. So you need the ROM, you need the HTC apps and the Google applications over there. So three different files we're going to flash in custom recovery. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into custom recovery. Um, right now I'm actually running uh, CM11 on here, which everybody knows is an absolutely awesome awesome application or I should say ROM so I'm gonna go ahead and power off to recovery I think I have a boot menu here yes I do reboot to recovery okay and this is gonna go ahead and reboot me into uh, team win recovery project which is my preferred recovery method alrighty there we go we are fully booted up now from here um, first thing you always want to do is go to backups, create an Android backup, swipe across, and create a backup. Now, I just did that a little bit ago here. Um, there's my CM11 backup from earlier today. So I'm not going to do that um, in the video, but definitely do your Android backup first. It's super important in case you have a bad flash, something doesn't work in the ROM, you don't like it, whatever the reasons, you can always restore your Android backup. Alright, so what we're going to do uh, first is we're going to do a wipe data factory reset. So you just go to data up there swipe across and this is going to wipe data, cache, and Delvic. That gives you a uh, clean slate to install ROM. So we'll go back, go back again. And now we're going to flash the ROM. So we're going to hit install. And you have to find out wherever your ROM is located at. I think mine is at the internal SD card. So it should be here and then it should be in downloads here. And Onyx right there. So go ahead and first select the ROM. Make sure it's listed, right there it is, right for the Verizon M8. And this is this is actually version 1.4 zip. When you do this, you may be on this version, it may be on a newer one, it's hard to say. Add and select the HTC apps. Very good, there they are, add again. Select the KitKat Google applications, there they are. So now you should have files or file three of max of 10. So it's gonna flash all three files with one swipe. So we'll go ahead and swipe across and install this ROM. There you go, Onyx, nice little uh, graphics. It's kinda of cool, kinda of 3D looking. And it's going to go ahead and install the ROM. Now on any ROM, just like you all know, should know by this point if you've ever flashed a ROM before, um, on first boot you can give it up to 10 minutes uh, and if it doesn't boot in 10 minutes, go back to recovery, restore your Android backup, and try to find out what you did wrong. Maybe you have a bad download, who knows. Try the process over, see if everything works out for you. Um, but that's always your uh, safety net of time on whether this thing's gonna boot correctly or not. That being said, I do like this thing's based in stock, and we'll talk about it here once it boots, but let me let's let this uh, install finish, and we'll go over it. All right, so. Looks like the ROM installed. It should be installing the HCC applications right now. All right, those are installed. Now it's going to install the Google applications. So you know, it just takes takes a little time because we're installing basically three three different things. 
um, and those should be just about wrapped. Okay, so that actually installed very fast. I mean, this thing does have an awesome processor in it, so it is going to run pretty quick. The whole install here was about a minute and a half. So you can hit reboot system there. You can go back and get back to your main screens and go reboot system. It really doesn't matter. And we're going to go ahead and let this thing uh, do its first boot. I'm kind of curious to see if we have a custom boot animation here or what the situation is on that. It's always neat to see what, what, what they uh, put in these ROMs. So let's see what we got here. Alright, so this is the new Android L boot animation. Like I said, this is theme like Android L. So this makes sense that there would be an Android L boot animation. Um, so let's just check this. It should do one last thing here in the quick change of this animation as it wraps. There it is. Shabam! A little Android going on. Alright, you're going to see the HTC again. And Google Text Engine has stopped. Um, not really sure why it's doing that. Let me go ahead and just skip through my setup here really quick and then I'll show you guys this round. Alright, so here is the initial start. It looks like it's going to load um, Blink Feed right off the get go. Let's just slight swipe over. I'm going to just clear off this stuff really quick. Alright, and here you go. You can already see that, like I said, this is very much themed like um, Android L. It keeps giving me that notification. We'll see if that stays on it, and if it does, I'll show you guys how to fix that problem. Um, so, uh, very, very cool initial startup here. Standard. Like I said, this all looks very standard. Here's Super Sue right there. There's um, the uh, Google Now launcher if you want to use that. Let's actually go ahead and launch that. Uh, okay. It requires some new version of some updated uh, applications to launch the Google Now launcher. You're going to have to log into your account and do all that kind of stuff to actually be able to use that. I would probably recommend it because that's going to make this thing even more look like the Android L release. Let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. So this looks very much stock. Um, very, very nice. Yeah, like I said, very stock. But it's got the wallpaper. It's got the boot animation. It's got the um, back, home, and menu buttons. Recent applications, I should say. Um, very, very cool. Otherwise, very much stock. Yeah, very much stock. Applications all look very stock. Um, let's go ahead and see what Android version we're running. Again, very stock in here. Yep, very much stock. So, uh, basically, what this is more than anything is this is a stock HTC Sense ROM with a bunch of Android L themes, and and that's what makes it really kind of fun. So we'll go into software version, Android 4.4.2. You can see that right there. Um, very, very nice. Very nice. So one of the things I like about a ROM like this um, is that really if you install some custom ROMs, you at times will lose features. You know, HTC Sense, even though it is an overlay skin, has features in it that custom ROMs don't. So what's nice about this kind of a ROM is that you keep the stock everything, so you have the cool applications, the Zoe mode and the TV remote control and all the cool little tweaks that uh, are put in here by HTC but you also get the customization of a custom ROM with you know the different home back menu but or uh, recent buttons and uh, all that kind of good stuff the custom boot animation and all that so it's it's really an improvement on stock instead of sometimes you get a custom ROM but it takes away um, I always feel like custom ROMs need to add features not take away features that's just a feeling I've been noticing even if a feature is maybe sometimes not really like something you may like but it just makes sense to never take away features you should always be adding features to the ROMs not taking stuff away just something I've noticed and that's what I kinda like about a ROM like this is this is something that's adding features and not pulling any features back so very very cool big thumbs up to the developer here on Onyx so yeah, it should really be flawless. I did see the, the two glitches I saw with the text-to-speech or something like that. 
Um, force closing on me twice. I'm gonna guess those are gonna get cleaned up probably with updating all of your applications from the Google Market, along with the Google Now Launcher functioning as well. Um, other than that, I don't see a ton in here. I'm sure I'll, you could read up on all the other little tweaks that are in it on the XDA thread, which will be linked in the video description. So there you go, if you want your um, HTC One M8 Verizon variant running and looking like Android L, but still having that stock UI feel, um, this is it for you right here. This will be the ROM you want to install. Onyx, uh, very, very cool. Hope you guys like this review here and install of Onyx ROM on this device, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.